Hello YouTube friends, welcome to the Red Parrot channel. I am your host, Mary Ellen. This episode is hashtag thrifty connects, hashtag thrifty Thursday. Thrifty connects is an open collaboration by images at Kim and thrifty Thursday is uh, an open collaboration with Sherry at turquoise dreaming. So uh, anyone who has been with the channel for a while will know that I have made a um, not a resolution, but an attempt to not go to any thrift stores for as long as possible or as long as needed in 2023. And so um, anything that I show on Thrifty Connects Thrifty Thursday will be an accumulation of things that are free somewhere in the community that have come into my mailbox um, via a friend, whatever. I want to maybe document and quantify how much stuff there actually is in the world that doesn't cost us anything. So a lot of that is um, foraging, urban foraging, um, and nature walks and so on and so forth. Once the spring comes and the summer comes where we have um, lots of plant matter, there will be a lot of dye material and so on and so forth. But let's get started. I need to first start off by saying I live very close to a lot of intense um, natural space and it is intense um, urban natural space. So it is very close to both um, urban living, um, city living as well as urban space and what ends up happening is in storms and winds and all that kind of stuff stuff breaks off it flies away and then it collects in the um it at the fences and you know gets caught in trees and all that kind of stuff and i just go around and part of my walk is to go urban foraging and so this is a lovely green ribbon that I was able to pick. So it needs a bit of a wash, but other than that, I will have a nice piece of um, inch and a half, inch and a half green ribbon. And it would be great to be pleated, just saying, or anything else that requires uh, green ribbon. So we've got that. Also under the banner of ribbons, and this was a honker. This was uh, clearly came off somebody's um, door, maybe, or it um, was chucked out. And um, as if it's windy when it's garbage day, um, there's a lot of stuff that sort of floats away. And this might be one of those things. But again, I got it at, um, you can see part of the you know, grass and whatnot. And it's like, all right, well, this is a gorgeous piece of, uh, it's 12, 24. That's a, a yard of two inch burlap. Two inch, two and a half, three, three inch burlap. It's beautiful. Uh, it's also wired and I can take the wire out. And then one of the things I was thinking about using this for is as a, oh my God, there's a ton of them. Um, texture for jelly printing. And so one of these pieces will be used for that. And it's ridiculous. I always go out thinking, you know what? The last, the last event was, you know, full of stuff. There is no way I'm going to find anything else. And then it always surprises me. There's always some little bit of something. And I don't take everything. I mean, some of it is just really manky. And I'm not going to take that home with me. And it's, you know, beyond, beyond repair. This is almost two yards. And I think this one's probably going to be another yard which if you bought at a store would be ridiculously expensive. Oh yeah, no, it's another, it's another. So this is 
This is two. I think this is another. Uh, it's for sure four. So this is probably five yards of red wired burlap ribbon. Absolutely free. Pretty wicked. So there's that. Uh, next, so under the banner of there's bits and pieces of everything floating all over. These are from probably from some kind of a flower arrangement or flower thing. Um, we can just take the little plastic bit things off. Derpy derp. And then this back peels, I think. Let's try this in. And, yep. And this isn't for everybody. I mean, not everybody wants to do this, and that's totally okay. Um, and then this would be something that could be a great collage. I've seen people use them for tabs and decorations and so on and so forth. Um, they also might be really, because it's uh, fabric, great for the three by three to five stitch challenge that happens. Um, and then also a couple of very small bits and pieces. Um, these are flowers and I won't take them all apart. If I can, there we are. And then we've got little bits of flower that we can, you know, put a button in the middle and use as, again, as part of that stitching. So I've got two of those. It's very exciting. Uh, and last two, and so I am hoping that this is in enough time that you can rescue any that you might have um, decided to throw out, and that is last year's calendars. So this is uh, 2022, uh, the milk calendar. I did not seem to get one for 2023, so I'm going to have to check out their website and see whether or not they have um, actually issued one. They have uh, all kinds of images and recipes. It's a lovely uh, matte paper. Uh, you could use this as backing for lines. Um, you could cut that off and you have a ready-made stapled journal. I was thinking actually of creating a, how tall is this? It's eight. So yeah, so eight by four, cutting it at the four inch mark. It's going to be about there. And I have an instant traveler's notebook. So I'm going to keep that as part of my paper supplies. And then this is a calendar that I buy every year. So I have a 2023 one. And these are the most amazing bits of art in terms of the, the centerpieces here. And there's information um, there's also little quotes, um, definitions, so on and so forth. Um, um, see if there's any spectacular ones that are, will jump out at me. Uh, that's kind of adorable. Um, it's rhubarb. Thistle is nice. Uh, peppers. Uh, we're going to flip through it all. This is really pretty. I like that one. Uh, that is milkweed. And then we've got bees. Strawberries. Strawberries? Strawberries in October. Mm. Pumpkins in November. I think somebody had their orders mixed up, but that's okay. I really like that. I've been looking at that going, ah, oh, I want to fussy cut that out. It's going to make a beautiful, beautiful... What is it? Uh, a free form journal card is what we would call that. And by we, I say um, Cindy at Studio Lou, where I get all my information from. And this is a lovely plant calendar of what's coming into, um, <clears throat> pardon me, plant and season. And then the back has got the tiny little thumbnails, which are almost tea cards. So that's a uh, very, very short, but a different idea, different take on Thrifty Thursday and Thrifty Canucks. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you were able to get some ideas. Look around your neighborhood. There may be stuff that's available to you. Um, and once we get the, the, um, the growing season back, we'll be able to forage for actual plant matter and do some fun uh, dyeing of materials and so on and so forth to be able to add some color into our um, fabrics and so forth and be able to do it at zero expense and have tremendous customized um, fabrics and so forth. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more episodes and we'll see you soon. Bye now.